Federal and local law enforcement officials announced today they broke up an international drug trafficking ring with ties to a former Montgomery County Sheriff's deputy. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is at the U.S. Attorney's Office in Philadelphia right now, and Matt, we're told three Asian men have also been indicted. That's right. Authorities tell us that three Chinese nationals shipped drugs all across the United States using a man from Narstown. He was kind of a loner. This home here on Dogwood Lane in Narstown is where authorities say David Landis used as the center of an elaborate international drug scheme. But neighbors in this quiet community never suspected a thing. I had no idea other than he worked for the sheriff's department, who he was. Landis worked as a Montgomery County Sheriff's deputy until 2014. Then Landis got another job, working for three Chinese nationals who operated a drug delivery website. The Chinese would send Landis the drugs and he would distribute the synthetic fentanyl across the United States, plus Canada, Spain, and other countries. We are committed to tracking down and prosecuting these dealers who are profiting from someone's addiction and pain. Landis Landis pled guilty for his role and is expected to serve a minimum of 20 years in prison after five people died from drug overdoses. But authorities admit the three Chinese men behind the website will likely never face prosecution in the United States. But if the Chinese government wanted to stop illicit fentanyl production, if they cared about that, they could do it. For your office to, to charge those three Chinese men, did they have to come to the United States? No, they are not in the United States. Uh, they have been charged publicly. Uh, we do not have these individuals in custody. And so while those three Chinese nationals won't probably face prosecution here in the United States, they are facing some consequences. We have that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live in Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.